My name is David Shoebridge. How old am I? I am older than most and younger than some. Which discipline do I ride? Dressage. The most embarrassing moment I've had at a show is falling off in a prize giving. I had a horse that didn't like the atmosphere and we had the rug on the, uh, we'd won the class and had the rug on and we're in the lineup at Dressage with the Stars, I believe it was, and he reared and I slipped right off. So that takes the cake. My best win so far would be the freestyle at the Dressage Festival on 007. My most memorable moment in the sport was as a young rider coming to one of my first big competitions and seeing all these riders that I idolized and feeling included and feeling part of it. The best groom so far, wow, okay. Um, let's say, I'm not gonna answer that. I'm just gonna get myself in trouble. The best horse so far would have to be 007, but my new young stallion, Toto Nation Deju is seriously exciting so I'm, I'm looking forward to the future with him. In a horse I look for rideability, trainability and a good style. I'm, I'm a pretty big guy so I need a fairly decent size uh, but a horse that really wants to work. Three good paces and a great brain. What is my favourite food? Well you don't get a figure like this from just eating lettuce. So I'm pretty au fait with most kinds of food, so long as I get them in pretty large quantities. But I love Japanese, I love Italian. I could talk about food all day. I started riding on our farm in Tassie and my aunt had a couple of horses on the property and I, I fed my school lunch to them because they were in a paddock next to the bus stop when I was in sort of kinder grade one and it went from feeding my lunch to these guys to wanting to ride them to then begging my parents for my own horse they relented they got me a horse but i said don't ever think we're going to competitions or don't think we're buying a float and here we are when was the first time i thought i'd hit the big time i don't think i have so uh, i think that's something that we always strive for the big time you know, to a young rider will be state championships or nationals and then you get to those states and nationals and it might be a CDI or international competition. You get to an international competition, it might be the next overseas competition. So I don't think there's an answer that, to that question. I think it's relative to your experience. There are certainly days where you think this is really hard, but then you might see a little glimmer of light and you just need a bit of a reset and you come back and then you realize why you do it. I look up to loads of people in my discipline, um, irrespective of the level they ride. You know, someone that's got the dedication, the commitment, the tenacity to put, put the effort in when the chips are down and the people that just constantly improve to get better and better and better and, and finally, you know, achieve their personal goals. I think that's, that's something that we should all look to aspire to be. Do I believe we can push a young horse too fast? Absolutely. I think patience is a virtue. Do I think I could do your discipline, JPR? Not like you. I'll, I'll give it a crack though. How many times a week do I train a horse? We train five or six days a week, depending on the horse. Do I have a certain type of horse I like? I would say that I have no bias, but then there are a lot of large, black, fancy horses in my stable. Do I prefer to breed or buy? Well, I'd love to be able to go out and buy every horse that I like, but the reality is I need to breed them. So I've got a really exciting breeding program so I'll put breeding down. Do I prefer to sell or keep? Well, I'd like to keep them, but again, the reality is this is my business. So if I'm breeding eight to 10, 12 foals a year, they need to be sold.
do I prefer mares, geldings or stallions? So with my business model, I've tried to have two purposes for each horse. So I'll primarily have mares or stallions of my own with the exception of a couple of geldings, but most of the time it's mares or stallions. How do I cope with pre-competition nerves? So I have a bit of a routine. I eat bananas. So it's my little go-to before I compete. I don't know whether that's something of any benefit, but it's my routine. So I'll eat bananas and I'll just take some quiet time for myself. How many bananas? Depends on the competition, depends on the horse, but typically I'll go to a comp with a few bananas in, in my bag. <laughs> my favorite bit is just a KK, a snaffle. If, if I can ride all the horses in a basic snaffle bit, then I'm happy. My favorite helmet is the cusk, and yeah, just I like them because they're light, they're airy and they're comfortable and they're hopefully going to be on my head when I need it. Do I have any hobbies outside of horses? Well, let's uh, take a trip back to a few questions before I love food. So I like eating. I also love skiing, snow skiing, downhill skiing and water skiing. And I love working on the property, sorting out the garden, mowing the lawns, tending to my chooks. I've got 10 chooks. And also I love going to sports with Annabelle, my daughter. So her tennis and netball and watching her ride. So there's enough outside of my day-to-day -day riding to keep me busy. What is the nicest show I've ridden at? I think it, it's, it, for me, that's more of a feeling on, on what you achieve. And a great show can be a club competition. We don't need fancy grandstands or flower arrangements or marquees. But if you can go to a show and have your goals met by hard work, dedication, then that's a great show for me. So James, polish your best pair of Tucci's, practice your sitting trot, and I look forward to sharing the arena with you in January in our attempt at giving each other's discipline a red hot crack. <laughs>